Everybody, this is the man police are charging with the murder of a Lachlan businessman, and the charges against him may be only the beginning. The investigation is in its infancy, and Local 12's Anjanette Levy has been looking into whether or who Christopher McFerrin is and also how he knew his alleged victim. Anjanette, what have you learned? Well, Cammie, we can tell you that Christopher McFerrin is going to be back in court tomorrow morning on a charge of aggravated murder. And tonight, police here in Lachlan can't rule out the possibility that others may be charged in the death of James Rollman. The fence at the David Hirschberg Steel Company is filling up with flowers and ribbons of condolence for James Rollman. Dave Rogers wrote a message. He used to know Christopher McFerrin, who's now charged with killing Rollman. A long time ago, we used to ride motorcycles together and everything like that, and uh, he was a good guy. I just think he uh, got into some bad stuff, changed him. On Saturday, police said McFerrin swallowed some heroin and led them on a slow speed chase with a gun to his head. Earlier that day, two steel workers found James Rollman dead in his car. It was hidden in this silo where the JR Trucking Company used to operate and where Christopher McFerrin once worked. Last Friday, a bank surveillance camera captured a man getting into James Rollman's car. Police are trying to figure out whether that man was Christopher McFerrin or someone else. I don't have enough information to determine if he was a shooter or if there's another uh, uh, person involved. Investigators are still trying to collect evidence and information to determine what we actually have. Police say McFerrin had been a customer of Rollman's at his business. Tonight, people in Lockland are trying to understand why someone would kill a well-respected business owner like James Rollman. How pathetic, how senseless. James Rollman will be remembered for his kindness and willingness to help people who were having a hard time. I hate to see that happen to anybody like that, you know, uh, it's a bad deal. And we went to Christopher McFerrin's house tonight to try to talk with his family. A woman who claimed to be his cousin said she didn't want to talk with us on camera. She said she knows that the family of James Rollman is suffering, but she says her family is also suffering a loss tonight. Reporting live from Lachland, Anjanette Levy, Local 12 News. Cammie? All right, Anjanette, thank you. And Christopher McFerrin does not have a felony criminal record. Anyone with information about James Rollman's murder can call Crime Stoppers, and that number is 352-3040.